Good evening, everybody. I have a verse of scripture I'd like to share with you tonight. The verse is Jeremiah 29 and 11. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord, plans for welfare and not for calamity, and to give you a future and a hope. I feel compelled to share this verse this evening on the internet. I'm a minister of the gospel who has been experiencing a trying time in my walk with God. Yet this verse reminds me that God has positive plans for the lives of his children, whether it be in this life or in the one to come. Paul echoes this sentiment in the book of Philippians where he says he was torn between two, two, two sentiments, to go on and be with the Lord which is far greater, or to remain in this life and to minister. I don't know where you're at in your walk with God. I've been in a season of discouragement myself, and I need this encouragement from God's word. This encouragement to know that God has plans for my life. And He has plans for your life. God has positive plans. Plans for welfare and not for calamity. To give you a future and a hope. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for calamity. To give you a future and a hope. That's Jeremiah 29 and 11. So... If, you, if you're in that place of discouragement, maybe you, you need this verse tonight. First off, to, for this verse to be a reality in your life, though, there's some conditions that have to be met. God ha does have plans for, for people. God loves mankind. It's, not his, it's His will for that all, that all man, that all, all men would come to know Him. It's not His will that any should perish on this planet, but that all all people would come to repentance. So first off, in order for this scripture to, uh, to work in your life is, you have to have a relationship with Jesus Christ. You have to believe that Jesus Christ died on the cross for your sins and my sins, and that God raised him from the dead. Literally raised him from the dead. And if, you'll, if you believe that in your heart, and you'll confess the Lord Jesus with your mouth, the Bible says you shall be saved. It says, For with the heart man believeth, resulting in righteousness, and with the mouth confession is made, resulting in salvation. You have a, if you'll do that, you can have a relationship with God. And this verse applies to you then. Also, in order for this verse to apply to our lives, if you're, if you're a believer, we have to trust God. In order for this to apply to our, for this verse to work in our lives, we're going to trust God, and we have to trust God to the place. <coughs> excuse me, trust God to the place where we're obedient to Him. We have a trust in God that leads us to obedience to God, a trust that leads us to obey Him. The old hymn says, "Trust and obey, for there's no other way to be happy in Jesus but to trust and obey." We have to trust and obey God. And when we're trusting God to the point that we're obedient to Him, then this verse applies to our life. God will fulfill His plans in our lives and we're, when we're willing. Through faith, we're obedient to Him and He fulfills, He'll fulfill this verse of Scripture in our lives, His plans that He has for us. Well, maybe you're... Maybe you're a born-again believer. You've accepted Christ as your Savior. Maybe you are trusting God to the point that you're obedient to Him. Well, then... And you, maybe you're still discouraged. Maybe you're still not seeing stuff happen in your lives like you'd like to. Maybe you're not sensing God working in your lives. Well, then if you're trusting God and you're being obedient to God, then, my friend, you must wait upon the Lord. We have to wait. Wait upon the Lord. The Bible tells us in, in different places of Scripture to wait upon the Lord. Psalm 27 says to wait upon the Lord. Be of good courage and wait upon the Lord. The book of Isaiah says that those that wait upon the Lord shall renew their strength. They shall, they shall run and not grow weary. They shall walk and not faint. They shall mount up with wings as eagles. Now that's not quoted verbatim. I may have missed a few words in that quotation. But you get the general gist of it. That they that wait upon the Lord, that their strength shall be renewed. God will fulfill His word towards His children. And know that He has plans for your life. I want to read this verse again. For I know the plans that I have for you, declares the Lord. Plans for welfare and not for calamity. To give you a future and a hope. 
Believe that today, my friends, wherever you're at in your, in your walk. I don't know where you're at, but I know I've been in a period of discouragement. I've been in a season of discouragement in my life, and I'm still sensing that discouragement. But this verse is encouraging to me tonight. I hope it's encouraging to you. And if you find this encouraging to you, if this resonates in your heart, if this is spoken to your heart, then leave a comment. Leave a comment on this, on this vi short video. And if you'd like to contact me, let me know, Brother Paul, we're praying for you because I'm looking for people to pray with me, people to join in in prayer and pray with me and pray for me. I can pray for them. We can pray for each other and we can encourage each other in this life. So we're looking for prayer partners. We're looking for people that will support us with their prayers and that we can, that we can contact. You, you can contact us. You can follow me at Twitter on Paul D. At Twitter at Paul DY43, Twitter.com, or you can reach me at email, Paul DY43 at gmail.com. But leave a comment. Leave your email email or Twitter in the comment, and I'll try my best to get back with you. And just please, whether you leave a comment or not, pray for me. And I will try to pray for you. God bless you. I'm gonna close this out, close close this out with prayer to those that might be listening to this this afternoon. Dear Lord Jesus, we thank you for all your blessings. I don't know who will see this video, Lord. I don't know what they're going through, God. But help them, dear God, to look to you, to trust in you, Lord. And to trust you to the point, God, that they obey you, Lord. That they follow you. That you let they let you be Lord of their lives. We love you and we praise you. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen. My name's Paul Young. I live in the uh, Blue Ridge, Georgia area. God bless you is our prayer. Till next time, keep the faith.